good morning my dear students i hope you all are fine today we will discuss about one another important part of computer that is an input device mouse so first we will start with a short recap of our previous class in which we have done what is a keyboard what are the different types of keys present on the keyboard and what are the functions of the keyboard so in this class today we will learn what is a computer mouse how we can hold and move a mouse what are the uses of a mouse and how to use the mouse button my dears all of you must have seen a mouse in and around your house let us know about it so first we talk about the mouse a mouse is small in size it has a tail it runs very fast now let us talk about the computer mouse it is also small in size it looks like a real mouse it has two buttons on it it has a wire like a tail which is fixed to the cpu cpu means that central processing unit but now a day we also use a wireless mouse so next we will learn more about computer mouse a mouse is an input device it is also known as the pointing device the computer mouse is usually kept on a flat surface called the mouse pad this is the mouse pad now next slide shows you the picture of the mouse pointer let us talk about the mouse pointer when we move the mouse we see a small arrow moving on the monitor this is the small arrow moving on the monitor this is called the mouse pointer when we move the mouse on the table then the mouse pointer is also moving it is moved in the same direction as you move the mouse next i will show you mouse buttons look at this mouse it has two types of buttons first is left button second is right button and there is one scroll wheel now we discuss about the functions of these buttons first is left button is used to select and click the objects on the monitor second is right button help us to perform some quick task with the options on the monitor the central scroll wheel is used to move the cursor in any direction on the monitor now we will learn 
how it is useful to us it is used to draw or color pictures on the screen a mouse is used to select and point any item on the monitor we also use the mouse to play games on computer next we discuss how to hold and move a mouse look at the picture carefully you should hold the mouse as shown in the picture step 1 is rest your wrist on the desk step 2 is put your hand on the mouse like you see in the picture step 3 is put your thumb on one side and little finger on the other side step 4 is now index finger should be lightly placed over the left mouse button and the middle finger over the right mouse button now moving the mouse now we will learn how we move the mouse so step 1 is hold your mouse don't lift it up and keep it on the desk step 2 is try to move it left right forward and backward step 3 is a mouse should be kept and moved on the mouse pad watch the movement of the pointer on the screen as you move the mouse now mouse action there are three basic ways to use your mouse action first is left or single click left a single click means to click or to press down the left mouse button and then release it quickly it is used to select the items on the desktop second is double click double click is most often used to open items on your desktop to double click the mouse press and release the button quickly twice third is the right click right clicking an item usually displays a list of things you can do with the item now this is the summary of this class so you can able to understand what is an input device that is mouse how it is works and what are the uses of the mouse now this is the worksheet related to this chapter part a is true and false part b is fill in the blanks and part c is answer the following questions so kindly do this worksheet on your computer practical file in handwritten form thank you we will meet again in the next class to learn about computer and its application